Alrighty then, good afternoon there everybody, Silver Dragon here, going to be continuing my weekly Masterwork Dwarf Fortress Madness. Uh, I believe this is episode 12 this time, damn, we're getting quite extensive there, I actually move this guy a bit over here. Uh, my camera's a little skewed right now, but ah, that'll work. I'll just move that a little bit more to the right. Anyway, going down my list here this week, there aren't actually that many people that want to be named. Yeah, there's, there's only like one guy right now that really wants to be named as far as I can tell here. Uh, let me see here. Uh, yep, yeah, that's about it. Uh, that's about all I can see is the one right now. Yes, Strawberry, you will one day make amazing cannon fodder for my army. But yes, 5 Villamy wishes to have a military dwarf, and I have pondered and gazed through my list here to find you the perfect military dwarf. Damn it. There we go. You are currently, unfortunately, in the hospital injure, with injuries, but hopefully you will uh, heal up pretty quickly, especially now that I got another doctor on the case who actually has good diagnosing, level 7 diagnosing adept, so hopefully he'll get over there and help you out and get you out of that hospital as soon as possible. Now, uh, what else did I have to do? Oh yeah, I have three major things I want to do, of course, keeping up with the military uh, production for the stockpiling and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I want to see about getting my dining halls, waterfall system at least relatively running, so that means the waterfall system and so many other systems need to be put into place and dug out properly and all that kind of stuff, so that'll give my guys some work to do. Uh, and then what else? Oh yes, I'm also working on the trap system, uh, trap walls. Which I will have to finish, which I believe they're, they're actually already designated out almost in its entirety yesterday. Oh yes, I forgot everything is burning right now. Do I have any hostiles still? Uh, no, other than the corpse scrubs and the platypuses, should be fine. Let's get everyone back inside before they burn to death. It won't work. Now, this paved road should stop the fire from spreading. Maybe. Maybe, because it's made of stone. But, other than that, nothing's going to stop this wildfire right now. So I need to get all these guys back behind the walls uh, where they will be generally protected. Sorry, I it, I'm aware of that. I restricted you for a reason. Dear Lord, that's one fracking hell of a wildfire. Oh my god. Run, ya wee little wankers! Run! Guess this is the uh, test right here. Obviously, the parts I haven't built aren't blocking a damn thing. But will the parts I have built block it? That is the question we are seeing right here. Oh, no, it's burning right through my path. It is burning right through my path, I think. Or is it? It seems like it's stopping, kind of. Is it stopping it? No, 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 no. No. Yay! It stopped the wildfire. Oh, nice. The tact of speed is helping everybody speed up. Nice. Why do you think I can do this? Because I tell you to. Foo. I can't do that there. I'm aware you can't construct those walls. Stop trying. All right, let's activate that. Now that most of the wildfire is gone now, that should hopefully allow them to properly connect all these up. And the ones that they don't, well, I'll figure that out, I'm sure. I will probably connect up this wall to this wall and create a long central bridging area as to properly seal off the whole central area here and force them to go through the traps. That way they can't just go around here. They have to literally go through either that trap area or this trap area. Okay. Now, I'm going to have to have them going like crazy here. Of course, the alchemist. Ooh, let's try transmuting some silver to gold. Uh... 
Yeah, let's make some batch splints and crutches. Okay, he's making a couple more cages. Now, my friend, my companion, my pal, my amigo. I got nothing. I need you to make several enormous wooden corkscrews and pipe sections. And I need them yesterday, damn it! Okay, so he's gonna work on that if I hit eight. Uh, let's see here. Extract the strands, extract the strands. Okay, good. He is making just wafers right now. That's a good thing. Alright. Uh, let me designate. A new zone here for sand collection. Because the sand I was digging before. Or sand I was digging. What did he get attached to? Sir Swagger Pants has grown attached to his iron greave. Well, that's not bad but it's not amazing because of course i could have replaced that with an adamantine grieve once he got once i got enough of them but now not so much <sighs> all right so let them do that let me go down here quickly now i don't want to stop them any while i'm doing this so let me see how i'm gonna do this i already have that hollowed out there so i'll have to have one there Which means the water is stored there, then pulled up, and redeposited. Okay, that's good. Please cut down these trees, which are inside my freaking place. Uh, and this is just the path for them to go around if they need to. Alright. And of course, I need them to work on this bit right here. This should be enough power, theoretically. Stray war dogs are missing for a week. Well, that is unfortunate. All right. Wait a minute. How the hell? Was I planning on transmitting the water? Oh, I think I was just going to dig a hole from there. Wait, was it? Uh, yeah, kind of. Kind of, sort of. I wasn't planning on it, but I could. Okay, so then in that case, if that is the case of the case... I can do this, essentially, okay, I will need a new floodgate, that's alright, alright, after that I need to start uh, channeling, starting on the left side, and then building it, working my way to the right. And we will get these things made. Ooh, that won't work there, will it? Hmm, actually, will even this work? Because that's kind of on the wall. Frack, it probably won't. Shit. I was not paying attention to the design of this when I made it. Okay, how am I going to fix this is very simple. I'm going to expand it by one and... Crap. Expand it by one and reverse it. Build a wall there. Okay. Build it out of whatever, boys. Don't care.
There we go. So we're gonna place those walls there, and we're basically just moving everything up one and rearranging it a bit. That should be good, I hope. My major hope here as well is that they will dig out these three walls here before they start really building these. Because if they if they build these first, then they're going to be kind of trapped in there a bit. Oh, what? Did they find the stray war dog or something? Uh, some stray pet has been missing for a week. That is unfortunate. Okay, so while they're digging that and building that and all that kind of stuff, what the hell happened to you, son? Your left sh shin and left foot is missing. He is my ambassador. Uh, those seem to be recent injuries. No one's going to haul them. There we go. Nope, he's hauling wood. Ah, they're hauling the wood and they're not hauling the poor ambassador. I can't do it. Can't do it. Sure you can. Uh oh. Take him by mood. Okay, they seem to be getting shit done here. Getting it done. Damn. All right. Sorry, sir, I can't do it. Let's build this wall. Where the heck is my a maned wolf? Has been missing for a week. Well, screw it, damn it! Are all my animals dying for random reasons? Rage, rage. All right. There you go, boys. Get to work. All right, so that's getting done. I I just can't. Mortar and pestle. Mortar and pestle is being created. Good. No. All right. Yeah, they can't get to it now. No, I won't do it. Oh my god, boy, come on, dig that out here first. Oh, he's not gonna do it, is he? Nope. No, I can't do it. Alright then. Now, do I have something hooked up to that yet, is the question. Hit my. Oops, Captain Len bookmarks here. Somebody pull that lever, please. I'm building an artifact. Give me the workshop. Clean to Magma Forge. Damn. So you can see he went and did that. Now, someone had mentioned that my dwarves may have been too busy to pull the lever. Although it is true that. I do need an idle dwarf to come and pull the lever here, generally. And I would like to have myself an immortal vampire to go and do that. God knows I would love to have myself a nice immortal vampire to uh, in a room full of levers in order to take care of that. But I am unfortunately have not been blessed by one of those for a very long time, which is unfortunate, to say the least. So I make do with what I can. They either will, you know, be here and be able to make use of them or they won't. That's just how it is. All right. There we go. Faster, you minion bastards. Cut them walls. Whoosh. No, anyway. Uh, cancel study book crossbows needs textbook. I have that thing on an infinite rerun, so hopefully I shouldn't be getting too many of those. Iron bone bars. Nobody's making that yet. Maintained upon life as a mage. Let me add a couple heals on there. Okay, a lot of heals on there. Is that fire finally out? Yes. The fire finally went out. Oh, there we go. And that's all the suspended ones taken care of. Waiting for construction, baby. Construction. 
Alright. Uh, they seem to be doing well, kind of. Alright, now Crush had asked... Let's see here. Oh, weird. I guess I don't have you as a, uh... What's it called? A farmer right now. Most peculiar, good sir. Most peculiar indeed. Okay. Brew some drinks. Brew me some good ones. Mm. Yeah. Um, yeah, to repeat those. Remove them. Okay. There you go, boys. Have at her. So they'll start cooking again, they'll start uh, brewing drinks again, and we should start seeing an influx for that. There we go. Alright, that should be good. Now, if I did that correctly... Yeah, it opened the back up, that's good. So they should be able to get through there now, and I will actually have to... No, I'll use a separate leader. For, I'll use a separate lever for that, I should say. If I could speak English. English. Rarg. There we go. Okay, so they are digging that up. Good. Nice. Uh, Alright, once they start on that, I will... Well, once I make sure that they have that whole channel dug out, because I don't really want them getting trapped in here. That would be slightly unfortunate. I could actually, like, shorten that by making it all diagonal, but... Eh. Wait, who died? Who was an idiot? Oh, no. Adonis. What was it? Adonosis died. He succumbed to infection. No, my friend. Why? Why? I like how it says his corpse was mutilated. Even though it kind of wasn't really... Well, I guess it kind of was. He had probably succumbed to several wounds and just died from the infection from it. Probably because I didn't have any soap in the infirmary to uh, wash his wounds with, more than likely. Ah, oh, well, it's such a pain in the ass to make soap, you know. I just, just couldn't... Couldn't, uh... Couldn't be bothered... I'm going to shorten this a little bit just because I'm lazy. What do we got here? What the hell is with all these animals? Did they just leave them all outside or what here? Jesus, people! They've been abandoning me your animals, you cruel, cruel people! The hell is wrong with you? Rage face! There we go, so have them hollow that out. Cancels plant seeds, requires muck root! We refuse to bow to your will! Oh, mighty smiter! Ah, oh, I love that movie. Why do you think I can do this? No. Oh, there you go, boys. Have at it. Have at it. Get her done, man. Get her done. Oh, what is this random crap you were leaving in my walls, boys? Get it out of there. Get that junk out of there! Rage! Alright, so I spent enough time looking at that. Go check our lovely outer walls of disappointment. Dear Lord. Disappointing! They haven't worked on a lot of this yet. Ah. Okay. But they're getting it done slowly. Oh yeah, look at that. That's almost completely done, that section. Nice! I will seal that off beautifully. Actually, I can see a problem there. 
This will actually cause a gap in it. Hmm, likewise, here. Uh, I forgot about that. Because there's a wall right down... Let me actually highlight it here for a second. Because there would be a wall underneath here, it would create a floor here, basically. That anything here could just sidestep to it, and then sidestep around the wall. So you really have to be careful about stuff like that. Another effective way of doing this, honestly, also probably the easiest and most effective way of doing this, is just to do a, a channel, uh, what's it called? I guess you could call it a canyon uh, wall, basically. All it really is is you just channel the whole thing, like maybe two by two, straight down, maybe two blocks, and there are like one block, and then you just go with it. And that's probably the most effective and easiest wall if you don't have a lot of building materials. But I have a crap ton of stone. And honestly, the aesthetics. So, you know. Gotta go for the aesthetics. Alright. There's all the adamantine. I don't really need any of the military guys hooked up to that right now. He is still... Oh, what do you need? So he wants wood, cloth, leather... And rough gems. Cut gems. Stacked leather. Yeah. Stocks. Hmm. Hmm. We have cloth. We have both cut and rough gems. In excess, we have a lot of rough gems. I, well, yeah, we have a couple rough jades. We don't forbid those. Tan hides, there you go. We have zero leather right now. That's what he's waiting for. So basically, we either get a caravan soon that has leather, or we're in trouble. We got our toolkit, Colosseum blueprint, changeling sprite, book of summoning, uh, magma weaponry blueprint, a mink. Let's get a mink out of there. That actually might be how my things were dying because they weren't in any pens. Here, mink, where you at, girl? Here, minky, minky, minky. Where you at? Gigantic matter. There we go. All right. No, trap. Cage trap. That's what I intended to do. Okay, that's at least a basic amount there. I obviously want more, but I'll work on that later. So yeah, these, although they won't capture entire armies, they will capture a few of them, which is what I need. Because basically I'm gonna start using live targets for archery practice. Glorious. The Mayor Council Study Book of Crossbows because I say so. Okay, export of coins is prohibited. That's good because I don't want to export coins ever. Yes, I'll do it, but no, it won't work. Do it again! Okay, let's go F4. Alright, now, first step is done. I'm gonna build M. I should say capital M. There we go, water wheel. Okay. Needs gr oh yeah, dur. I need a screw pump first. Pump from the north. For those that have not seen this before, what this basically does is you have this kind of chamber. And also, obviously, I'm going to be digging the right side and adding another water wheel. Uh, okay, what this basically does is 
you build two, you build these channels with the uh, with the central locate channel as well. You add a screw pump in the center that holds up the water wheels, but also allows them to work. So the screw pump gets turned on by a dwarf or something to start this, or even flowing water can start the water wheels, which will in turn power the screw pump and start this process. So basically, the screw pump is taking the water from the northern, uh, like little like uh, what's it called. Uh, tunnel down below the channel and it's taking it pumping it up and pumping it behind it where there's this blank space here now Obviously that needs to go somewhere So it spreads to the left and right which causes the water wheels to turn and repeat and repeat and repeat It's basically an infinite process there of powering the water powering that and then turning which creates an infinite amount of power pretty much uh, well, not infinite amount of power, actually. It's a limited amount of power, depending on my, uh, depending on it. Uh, adding in, uh, which I'm about to do, actually. Adding in these uh, axles uh, starts to weaken it over time, depending on how far you go. Axles and gears will weaken it. And then also things you connect it to, like additional screw pumps, will also weaken it over time. And then a vertical axle would be if you're if you want to go up or down, which I will have to do here eventually. Okay, like you can see here, I'm at a, I'm at an edge, so I have to use a gear assembly, which requires a mechanism. Then I would do a, another horizontal axle, because this is something that's flat on the same surface. Change the orientation to north south, and I'll extend it up oh, by two, not three. Whoops, and uh, i build another gear assembly. Now, depending on how many you are, how, how far you're going here. Hmm, that might not actually work too well. This side. Yeah, I got a channel, or channel. I got to dig in between this sucker here. There we go. Now, what was I even saying? I don't even remember. Now, the cool thing is... If you wanted to stop the power, like have an emergency stop for any reason, you can connect a lever to any of these gear assemblies in the chain, and that will cut it off entirely. Okay. Um. Um. Oh yes. Let's go up here, and I'm gonna have him do that. I believe I have this on. God, what was it? What was the thing for that? There we go. Um, let me go increase the max to 15 to 20. I want 15 or 20 mechanisms at all times. That would be a good amount. Of, that would be a good amount of mechanisms. Who's in there right now? Still Woob Monkey? You still training, son? Yeah, I guess everyone else might have, must have healed. Or maybe not. You never know with that thing. Thirsty. Oh, it's me, the broker. I'm so stupid, please uh, give me some waters. I can't move apparently for some reasons. Recording? Oh, fuck. Did I screw that thing up again? God damn it, how the hell do I. Oh, I hate it when it does that. Frack, I don't remember how to turn that off. Basically, Dwarf Fortress has its own in game recording device. I don't want it to do that. There we go. Control R. Ah, Control R, because that's what I did. Yeah, there we go. Alright, I disabled that. That was my bad. That was my bad. Alright, anyway, sorry about that. I, di I digress. Let's get back to this here. Okay, so they are going to get all these in place. This requires architecture and mechanics, so I'm going to need a lot of mechanics to get this done. Build horizontal axle. East to west is correct. I would need additional gear assemblies, but no, no, I can build it. One more. Then one more there, and then one more below it. Gear assembly. So each of the gear assemblies can work off another gear assembly in a different area, like above. As it were, I would prefer to have a, a like a, an axle in between them, 
But if I have to, a gear assembly should be able to work off a gear assembly. Alright. Oh, a little bit. Alright, so that's all up to them now. I have to wait for them to get that done. So I'm going to make sure I have enough mechanics with architecture. Alright. Hmm. See what's wrong with my mechanics. And they have architecture. I think I globally enabled architecture at some point. There we go. That's correct. He's already not hauling anything. Okay. Tall, you're hauling, good sir. And your architecture. You as well, old bean. There we go. So that should get these done fairly, fairly quickly. We'll see what happens, though. Okay. Let's resume now. Let them get to work. We will check on the progress of our lovely walls. Aw, oh, good kitty. Wait, is that place still smoldering down there? Jesus. Go away already, you damned fire. Rage. Well, wow, that just consumed everything, didn't it? No joke. Oh, nice. That's completed. That is... Are we still having issues with this thing? God dang it. Why are we having issues? Oh, I know why we're having issues here. Because we have to remove the up ramp. If we do not remove the up ramp, it will not build properly. That is the issue we're having currently. Alright. Just gotta wait for those ones to be built, which I believe they are going to be pretty quickly here. Yep, they are being constructed. And that should be good. Oh! The bot has transformed into a dwarf! So that means the song he was playing is now over. Let's go back in here and see if he can play it again. Uh, play a sleeping ball or belt, whatever, everyone would fall asleep. Sustain or sustenance, no hunger or thirst. Uh, wake the dead. <laughs> no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do play a quick jig again to get them to increase their speed. Now, I think. If the alchemy reaction did run, kind of did, what that might have done is not necessarily give me gold coins, but it may have given me gold ore. No, I don't see gold ore. So it could have literally turned silver into gold, in which case I could mint some gold coins. Let me take a look here. Stocks. Uh, bars. Yes, I have three gold bars. Nice! Means I can smelt three batches of gold coins. Sweet. Other objects. Gold! Give me gold! La 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 la! No way. Goblets, jugs, insanity. Oh wait, gold crafts. No. Mint gold coins, yes, I'd love you to, please do. As that would probably work, that would probably work, depending on what the alchemy conversion rate is, what it, what its cost for conversion is, it could actually be more efficient to convert the silver to gold and then the gold into coins, rather than converting the silver coins to the gold coins in the end, depending. Anyway, um, I need something, anyway. Workshop. I am going to build the other workshops that I'm planning on building, but I didn't have the stuff for. Chemistry Laboratory. Genesis Jugs, Mortars, Pestles. I'm assuming I can't build the Toxist now. Requires a Pestle, which hopefully someone is going to be constructing. That would be a negative. So I will construct it myself. Alright. Carpenter's Workshop was a success for those. Um, do I need any more? I'll build two more of those and three more pipe sections in case. I'll also build a couple wheelbarrows for just use, general use. Okay, let's take a look on these, see how they're doing. Okay, you can see now that it's a different color. He has completed that. He has also completed, the, well, correction, he has not completed the screw pump. Oh yes, I almost forgot. I also need another floodgate. Where the heck are you, floodgate? There you are. I'll promote that up there as I do need to make that pretty quickly. 
And I also needed to place some doors up there for some reason, in some way, somehow. No, 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 no. No! No, those aren't the ways. And, oh, there's a reason. I now see the reason. Whoop, 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 whoop. There we go. Resume, my comrades! <sighs> Transformed into a dwarf, playing a quick jig in the tavern! Faster, dwarves! Faster! Whoosh, 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 whoosh. No, anyway, I'm kidding. Alright, so, let me make sure everything else here is going well. They are preparing raw fish, that is good. Unsuspend that, unsuspend that. Hopefully he's connected to collecting as much fish as possible. As I would hope that is paying for a lot of what I'm getting done right now. I'm gonna unsuspend these while I'm at it. Lol, the rest of these are actually unsuspended. They're just not constructing them. <laughs> Alrighty then. I'll have them dig those up and I will build long walls across that once they have. <sighs> Yep. Alright, resume! Let them continue! What the hell is that, actually? What the heck is that? Blood of Armok... Candle... Was it Candle... Candelabra? Candelabra. Basically, it's a chandelier. Made out of blood steel, I guess. Or blood of Armok. Which is a gem, and dear lord, I have enough tables to drown in right now. Um, I no longer need... Where is it? Where is it? I must stop it before it is too late! Too late! Ah, here we go. Suspend those suckers, good. We have more than enough tables and chairs right now, thank you very much. Especially tables, Jesus. We have enough tables. Whoop, whoop, whoop. There we go. As, and as always, we won't have nearly enough chairs to cover the amount of tables we have. Which means I'll probably have to re-enable chairs for a while. And just chairs. Yeah, look at that. Not even close. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to re-enable chairs for now. Just make chairs. My friend. Alright, that should be good. Everything else is generally good right now. Leatherworks, I wish we had any hides, but we don't. We have no leather right now, and that guy's... Basically, not only is he holding out my production, but this guy's gonna go insane. Yep, he's gonna go completely insane. God damn, that sucks. Oh well, not much I can do. I don't think there's a way I can convert or trade leather. I might be able to trigger, trigger a caravan right now. Try inviting a dwarven caravan. That might get me what I need right now. Although it might just waste my gold. We'll find out. We'll find out. Either way. Either way. We'll see what happens. Alright. Let's go back down here. Everything seems to be going well. Pretty well. Have they suspended any of these? They have not right now. Probably they've focused building this wall now that I've designated them a new one to build. <laughs> Annoying little buggers. Alright. Doors have been put in place. Good. Uh, these have been built. Good. Erg. 
Argura. Oh yeah, I forgot I could do that. That would actually speed things up quite a bit. I'm doing this the slow way right now. Okay, build. Machinery. Damn it, no, capital M. There you go. Screw pump from the north. Thank you. Screw pump from the north. Thank you. Alright. I could have them be setting up all of these while I'm waiting for that, and I'm just not doing it, which is terrible of me, actually. Oh my god, that is a very, very poor job I am doing. Pump from the east. Correct. Mm. All right. Pump from the west. Needs pipe sections. Also, stupid bugs. I need to channel this bit down. Alright, so I'll need enough for... Uh, what was it? Five at least more. Five more screw pumps, basically. Now, one thing I need to do here as well, which I am not actually doing right now, which is very bad of me. Let me suspend these for a second. I should just remove them entirely because I forgot to do one important thing. I need to channel right here. Basically, you need to channel uh, one away from this. So if you have a hole where you're pulling liquid up from, you need to dig one away from one like one block, one block as a as a floor, and then the next block you have to have as another channel if there's something below or above it. In doing this, in alternating it this way, power goes from one screw pump to the next above and below. So that way I will only need to go up here right now because this screw pump is right here like this okay so I'll need to have a gear assembly there okay In that case, I can go like this now, actually. And I'll run off the assembly off this guy. No! Whoopsies! Bad, Silver, bad! You fool, you should have noticed that beforehand. Okay. Okay. And the last piece goes right there. Beautiful. Once I get this whole thing piped, that's all it has to do is it has to feed eight screw pumps and down this length and that's it. That's about as far as the power has to travel. Now, I can't remember exactly how much energy each one of these guys generates. Um, crap. Maybe there's something that actually has it here. Uh, power transfer. Try water wheels. Dual water wheel design. How much does each one give me though? Generates. Oh, that's odd. Well, actually, no, it's not, because I think I said it that way. Um, mm, so, yeah, it generates 90 net power each. Okay. So each one of these will generate will generate 90 power. A 
pop. So that's quite a bit. How much energy does a screw pump absorb in order to function is what I need to know now. Has never contained salty water, standing water, pumped through a pump will become clean. Letting doors drink it without getting an unhappy thought. Letting doctors clean wounds without causing an infection. Yes, but how much does it absorb? Do not generate power. Yes, adjacent, power, adjacent pumps automatically transfer power. Yes, I'm aware of that. Doesn't specifically say. Yeah, as far it doesn't specifically say, as far as I can tell here. Oh well, sorry guys, I delayed quite a bit for that. All right, so this is all set up here, ready to go. This guy hasn't gone insane yet, so that's not a great thing. Uh, general. Work animals. Uh, I don't want to assign my war elephants to these guys. I'll send these guys down here for now. Because if this guy does get violent, then I'll need them there to stop him. He might not get violent. It is very unlikely that he will get violent. <laughs> All right, but yeah, I don't really want to risk them, you know, going ape shit crazy down here. Wait, who the hell is that? Oh, it's Glad, the apostle. Oh, he's an apostle of Armok. What? Sweet. Guess I found my other mage. Yeah, I need the Tome of Life for that, to make him an Earthbound. Two silver bars. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Okay, I don't think transmuting silver to gold is worth it. Unless it's an equal trade. It could be that it takes two silver bars and makes uh, a gold bar, is what I think it does. Took too long to get there. He goes batshit crazy, I'm just going to say to hell with it. Let him go batshit crazy. They'll have to defend themselves until my entire military gets there. Alright. Now, let's go build my water supply. Uh, build floodgate... There we go. That floodgate will cut off that area. So I guess my attempt to call a caravan failed. No, nobody even did it. Nobody even seemed to have time to do it. LOL! Well, that's too damn bad. That's too damn bad. Oh well, I should probably start getting these all set up here as well. Okay, now I should have in excess at this point everything I need to finish this. No, not quite excess, but close enough. Because they're starting to have their crap spill out into the middle of the hallways and such, and I can't allow that to happen now, can I?
Okay, let's start with the cabinets over here. For those poor, impoverished boy lads who have none. Or have nothing, I should say. There we go. Okay. D B D. There we go. I want them to dump all this junk out of here. Build door. So I want to build doors on the rooms that are completely ready. Actually, I'll probably just build them on them regardless. Oi, there we go. Dump this junk out of here. And resume. Alright, get at her, boys. Yeehaw! Alright, I should give them more than enough laborers. Oh, thank God. Oh, I need 2,000 rock coins in order to invite a caravan. Luckily, a caravan just happened to be hopping over here. So, just in case, though. Let's get my military going here. Not sure who's going to show up, but I'm going to get all my military armed and down to that location. Because, you know, every single time you get a caravan, a siege is not far behind. And though I trust the dwarves can defend themselves, who died? Starved to death. Oh, well. Shouldn't you... Whatever. I never use those things anyway. Alright. Traders request the depot. Move goods to the depot. Most valuable. Adamantine, 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 obviously. Mantine. Blood steel blade shield, I'll sell that. Alright. There we go. I should hopefully get what we need, and who knows, we might get that guy, we might manage to, uh... We might manage to save that guy, man. We could save him, potentially. Waiting for construction... do this then. There we go. That works for me. Now, since I need more than that, yeah, definitely need more pipe sections. And more corkscrews. There you go, my friend. Keep at her. So, generally speaking, we're getting a lot of random things done. Our guys just have so much to do, they just can't get to every you can't even close get to everything at this point they are just insanely busy with everything okay build m water wheel mechanics mechanics okay all those are inactive and ready to go 
I've lost my infant. I must find it. I was carrying it on my back two seconds ago. Hey, what? Oh, you lazy wanks. What is your major malfunction now? X. Oh, god damn it. Can, I, 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 I take it back. You have way, way too many major malfunctions for me to... No, I can't for me it. to guess what the hell it would be. Blocking sight. Oh, yeah, I know, I know. I told you to remove that a while ago, but it'll probably take a while before you actually do it. Oh, man. Actually, no, that's not right. Not bad, not bad. Alright, so that should be able to handle the load, more than likely. Alright, zoom! Okay, no invasion. Okay, you may all go back to chillaxing. There is no invasion here. You are free. Free to... Well... Chill. Oh, is that all you got? No, man, no other mandate for you, my friend? Nope, he's good, he's happy. For the moment. Until he gets pissy again. Sir, here's the list. Looks like we're out of these things here, you see? Oh, yes. What did I say? What did I say? Okay, he wants coins made. I have no problem with that. I gotta love a mayor who wants what I want. Alright, the traders should be ready to trade here quite quickly. Make an amount of time wait for it. Does that mean... Nope, we still have Mr. Crazy there. Alright, so I want to buy some leather ASAP with this guy. There you go. Trader has requested depot. I forgot to request it properly. Oh, I hate it when that happens. Alright, so they should be sending the guy over there to help him with that pretty quickly. I hope. So yeah, it requires rock coins to summon a dwarven embassy. Dear Lord, if I'd known that, I would have totally made 2,000 rock coins, you know, but, you know, I didn't hear nothing about that, and so on and so forth, and, oh, hey, there is, uh, Barbosa Hawk, Mighty Bard Extraordinaire, playing a quick jig to speed everybody up by a significant amount. Oh, great, someone's been missing for a week. A miner. Okay, trade. What we got in here? I don't know, I don't want to trade that. Mortar, pestle, mortar, pestle. There we go. Quiver, jug, 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 silver crown, amulet, jugs, jugs everywhere. Platinum figurine of something. There we go. Good enough, good enough. Okay. Alright, what can I buy from you guys? Don't really want your ropes. Give me a look close at all this stuff. I don't want to miss nothing. Golden Goose Cage. I believe that does lay golden eggs. Ah, an active spear golem. I would love to buy it, but I can't afford it right now. My fortress is not producing a lot of really good trade goods right now, sadly. Excuse me. Mog juice. Interesting. 
Interesting indeed. Anyway. Pardon me again. Damn. Alright, what am I looking for? You guys really don't have anything that great now, do you? God damn. Mm, bags. Ooh, here we go. Ooh, ooh, any kind of seeds. Any kind of seeds. Don't care what kind of seeds they are. I want them. Buy any cloth and leather that you can, except for the rare and expensive shit. I never want to be see myself running out of that again. I was so pissed when I ran out of leather. Oh, so pissed. Cost me my best dwarf. Me. Rage. 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 And all that. So yeah, I was a little sad about that. Just a little bit. Hold it, we got more leather. Any leather bins here at this point. I got enough cloth bins, but any leather bins, I'm buying them. All right. Keep it going, keep it going. Leather, keep it going. All right, looks like we were running out of that stuff. Ah, cobalt javelins, interesting, but meh. Ooh, 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 food. Takes a lot to feed a hundred dwarves, damn it. Not to mention trying to make them legendary cooks to sell for 10k a pop. It's a, it's a new rap song in town. It's called Keyboard Clicks. Last Stand. Or The Last Stand. There you go. Keyboard Kicks or Clicks. The Last Stand. Buy it now. No, nah, anyway. Uh, what am I looking for here now? Any... Ooh, cheese. I'll buy cheeses. I'll totally buy cheeses this time. Splints, crutches, I have no interest in those. However, if you have... Ooh, what the hell is that? Cobalt magma tanker. Mmm. 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 Oh, anyway. I will buy raw green glass. Yes. I think that's it. I believe so. Maybe. Yeah, good enough for me. Good enough for me. All right, so I give them, I'm not gonna give them all that value. Damn straight. Now, noble screen. Noble screen. All right, should be good. Usually, when you want to become a civilization, the center of dwarven uh, dwarven civilization, that is, uh, you have to have a certain value of architecture, such as you know, marble roads and walls, and they need to give them a certain amount of a certain value of free items. <clears throat> but I that hasn't shown up in a very long time, so I don't know. It may have changed a long time ago, for all I know. Okay, let's go take a look down here. Hmm, those have been done, set up, so build. Um, screw pumps. Could be a problem. Hmm. 
Hmm. Yeah, that could definitely be a slight problem. <laughs> Lols. Oh, man. Okay. Do you want to build that yet? Nope. I'm sure they will get around to it eventually. Though. This is the only bad part is it just gets redonkulously slow at times having to wait for the proper guy to get over here and construct this. It's just, ugh. Okay. Build mechanisms. Gear assembly. Okay, um, I need the horizontal axle at this point. I need to change the orientation. Horizontal axle. East to west. Horizontal axle, change orientation. This might be all it requires. No access. Oh, I can solve that in a second. Resume! Okay. Guessing now it will allow me to build that? Yeah, that's exactly what the issue was. Uh, basically, once you've made that gap, you need to have the first screw pump set up on a flat terrain. Like this, like these guys are. And then above them, you can have the, the separated ones with the two channels. But it can't, like, it can't float, otherwise it would fall down. Because if you built something half on a, a ledge and half you know, like over a chasm, it could tilt, it, and if you turn it on, it's going to tilt and crash into the chasm, as it were. Unless there's another machine underneath it holding it up and powering it. So yeah, that's pretty much what's going on there. So once I get these into place, I should be able to build these screw pumps. I should probably even do it now. That I've designated that there's something up. See, now that they know that there's something above them, I can designate it. Okay, now, horizontal axle, I'm going to start doing really long ones this time. So it takes for a full length horizontal axle requires three logs. Okay, let me designate them to mine this bit out here. Build. Gear assembly. And these should be the last gear assemblies I need to make. After this, that's, that's it. It's done. A gnome caravan has arrived. What? What? Oh, that's not good. It's not enough crap. Let me check my stocks. What do I have an ex excess right now? Out of that amount of time things. Except for this crap that I can't get rid of because I won't sell it. Right. Okay. Okay, so. So I have eight adamantine weapons. I only have two adamantine breastplates right now. It's not much at all. I need to make more of those. Uh, two greaves. A couple helms. Ah, what was that? One, two, three pairs of gauntlets. Uh, three pairs of boots. And I 
I could probably sell a couple adamantine kite shields, I suppose. Move goods to depot. I still have all that shit to trade, too. Adamantine helm. Here we go. I'll add in two adamantine kite shields into the trade deal because gnomes. I've never had a gnomish caravan, and they should have some really, really good stuff. Like stuff that could unlock uh, new things for me, actually. So, I may be a little bit excited about that. Yay! So, yeah. Um, mechanics, screw pumps. Yes. Actually, I should finish these off first. Gear assembly. Okay. Now I can build a screw pump. Pump it from the west. So, what this system basically does is... Um, let's start down here. So the water reservoir is down here. So this is, full, this is just filled with water. Uh... When the screw pumps are turned on, they will activate, and this will start pumping it from down there through this area right here, and start pumping it up and into this little slot. It will then be further pumped from this, or from here, from that little part, and then shoved over here. And that will continue to spread down to the central point, in which case it will start falling. Uh, there will be a grate here. And the water should hopefully fall straight through without spreading around here. But when it does fall through, it should create mist around this area. And that mist gives dwarves happy feelings. And I have tried to do this like two or three times now, and I've never managed to get it successfully up and running. Uh, mostly because... Let me actually see how I can build any grates here. These grates. Nope. I need to build some grates. Uh, because I did, my fortress always fell before I had the chance to really do it. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping this time it'll be different and I'll have enough time to get it done. Okay, so build four floor grates. Those will be what I need to uh, toss on there. The floor grates, because obviously it's a waterfall. It's water that is moving. That generally will take my dwarves and drown them. Pull them down there and drown them. Obviously we don't want my dwarves to drown. Uh, in that aspect, I'm probably not going to fill the thing completely. Needs one silver bar. I'll probably only do about two to three for depth, water depth. And I'll have an emergency evac drain. Oh, Dr. Lemon Schnout, you should not be partying, sir. You have no patience to deal with. Well, shit then. And this guy should have finally moved. He did. So he finally went to go grab the leather that I just bought for him. And hopefully he'll have enough time to come down here and use it. Uh, once he does, he should be finished. And the good thing about that is he will, he will get legendary plus something from this. So he will become a really good metal crafter in one form or another. Oh, the merchants are unloading their goods. Looks like the gnomes are here. Oh, fuck. Ambush. Opossum. We've got sieges. Oh, Jesus, run. Run, alchemist. Ooh, I know what I'm going to do. I know what I'm going to do. I am going to unleash the war elephants on these guys. Oh, it's gonna be good. Oh, we caught some stranglers. Interesting. I can use those as uh, pew pew targets. 
And also, I'll get the giant Minotaurs down here, too. Sorry, I can't do it, sir. Well, in that case, I'll probably take them off that once they done it. Oh, yay. Thank you, Barbosa. Keep up the good tunes, sir. I can't do it. Come on, people, retreat to the fortress. Hurry your asses. Okay. Oh, sushi, you fool, run. Hurry, sushi, hurry. Hurry, damn it, sushi. Run, boy, run. I have to pull that bridge up. Move your ass, Sushi. Move it. I believe this was the right one. Yes, lower defense bridge. Pull it. No. Come on. Pull it. Pull it. Pull it. Pull it. Pull it. Oh, fuck. Is it malfunctioning again? Yep. Malfunctioned. Sometimes it does that where brass bars. Sure. Now these guys bring like pistols and bullets and stuff like that. As well as weather control device. Artificer blueprint. Uh, crates of steel bars, trap components, don't care as a shot. Uh, rune weaponry blueprint. Magma rune weaponry and our rune armory so you can use that to create runes on your stuff and especially I want clockwork parts And that's the major piece is that they bring clockwork parts Okay Come on down here boys Oh, I never did. I never did fix this part. Oh, you fools! You're tempting me way too much there. Is that the commander? Nope. What is he doing, General? Constructing a building. Yeah, I'm aware you can't construct that right now. Don't bother. It's an ambush. All right, let's trade with this thing. See what they got. No, fuck me. Wrong button. No, 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 no. Hit the wrong button. Screwed myself for a second there. Want to trade with the gnomes? Gnomes. Oh, fuck me. Forty eight thousand. Sweet Jesus. I doubt they have anything that could freaking match that. Oh my god. I'm gonna get some steel muskets. Why the hell not? Jesus, that's awesome. Small, steel small bullets. All of them. Buy all their bullets. Obviously, I'm not going to trade them that, because that's way too much value for them to get off of me right now. But sweet Jesus! Wait, 
Oh, you idiots. You made an adamantine fishing net? Really? Wankers. Oh well, now I can make uh, my own uh, turrets. What the hell are those? Opossums. Mablocus. Ran off or something. Alright. Let's go take a look here. Make sure these guys are armed and dangerous. Matine. Kite shield at the very least. I don't see a weapon. He always blood steel mace, yeah. Mr. Sinister. How very sinister of you to carry that adamantine longsword. Oh yes, oh yes. And of course I am gonna have my war elephants down there as well, I think, when they, when I open up that gate. Anyway, let's go check on progress here. It's negligible. Yeah, pretty much. Build screw pumps. Pump from the west and pump to the right. Done. That's it. Everything's assembled. All that's left now is for them to complete construction. They have... What is it? Four more... Water wheels to build. All the... What's it called? So swagger pants! What is adamantine kite shield? And whoops! And is adamantine longsword. Actually, why is there people down here? Uh, it's an ironclad dog. <clears throat> nice. Mandated something. Oh, he wants more coins to be made. Alright, so now I have my guys here. Let's get this done. I believe in you, military. This is either going to be amazing or it's going to be an absolute failure. I'll either have... This will be a toss-off. I'll either have an effective military at long last. Or... Well, as I say, complete and utter failure. We also have, on the forefront, two giant minotaurs and one colossal war elephant. Splat! Kill all the goblin scum! Attack! Oh, my war elephant's getting beat right now. Let's take a look at this poor guy. Yeah, he's got some pretty good damage on him. Fractured, it's cut open, it's fractured. I want to see him stomp this punk, though. Oh, looks like they're just going at him there. Oh, that's two down. Wow, let's see those combat logs. Prime Minister Sinister! Let's see what you did, my friend! Adamantine lo Oh, wow. Prime Minister quickly, or... What's this? Oh, here we go. This is part of the uh, update of the thing here. Dwarf, The dwarf yells, or I should say, Sinister yells, A GOBLIN! ATTACK! Runs the goblin through in the left hand from behind with the tip of his adamantine longsword. The severed part sail off, sails off in an arc. So he just embedded his sword in his hand and just ripped his whole hand clean off. Whole left hand. Uh, he then slashed him in the second toe right foot and also severing that. And now this now he's just going for blood. And somehow managed to lodge his sword in that in his in, in the guy's remains of what was left of his right toe. 
Uh, and then starts, of course, stabbing him in the right foot with the adamantine sword, completely severing this sword. It's like, ah, oh, my sword is stuck. Oh, well, I'll just take the whole foot with me. Whoosh, done. There goes his foot. Oh, then he goes for the left forearm, severing it. Oh, my God. Sinister, you're just severing this poor goblin's limbs off one at a time. And then the rusty iron arrow got, and he dodged a rusty iron arrow that came at him. Charged the goblin and surprising it by his ferocity of his onslaught. Whirls around and aims a uh, slash of his sword at the left thigh, uh, completely severing off his left leg. He then collides with the goblin and knocks it over. Uh, whirls around once again. Uh, it hits him in the left hand, severing off the entire hand again. Uh, slashes him in the torso and completely, he literally, he's just, he literally just severed this goblin in half. He's like, he's screaming there with no leg, no left hand, just going like, <laughs> and he just severed the thing in half. Oh, that was brilliant. That was brilliant. Nice. So I have now defeated the invasion force. Wait, let's take a look here, make sure that's the invasion force. No, you killed my cat! Kill him! Kill him! Kill them all! Attack! Oh wow, go Sir Swagger Pants! Actually, let's take a look at Sir Swagger Pants' combat log as well. Where are you, Sir Swagger Pants? Sir Dude! Ah, there's Sir Swagger Pants. Okay, so he managed to get a couple good ones in there. Attack that sodding goblin! Whirls around and slashes the goblin in the left arm, uh, severing it, of course. Whirls around and slashes the goblin in the right thigh. Severing it. So you guys were just were no. Actually for that one he actually just tore apart the muscle. Artery has been opened, mortar nerve has been severed. But yeah, basically these dwarves just running around just severing these goblins into little bits. Lodged the adamantine uh long sword in the wound, and then started just jer uh, twisting it in his wound. In the right his right thigh. Slashed him in the right thigh with the forearm of the blade, and then he severs it off. So his second attack severed it. Now he's blocking or dodging the arrows right now as he charges at these goblins. Oh, he took a bit of a damage there. Yeah, Sinister's right thigh, right shin, right foot, his entire right leg is pretty much gone. His right hand took some damage, looks like. Don't know where all the others went, though. They're leaving Sir, uh, Sir Swagger Pants here to kill these guys all by himself. And he's succeeding brilliantly. Oh, let's see what we got here. Quickly slashes it in the right foot, severs it, uh, slashes it in the left thigh, and severs that off too. Dear Lord, my friend. You are a limbs, you guys are limb severing machines. Get him! Oh, and looks like Luku finally came to help. Sinister is finally getting over the fact that he's slightly injured in his right hand and is currently holding him up from falling. And, oh, no, he's gonna get away. Alright, good job, lads. You are now an effective killing machine force, as it were. I am proud of you, dwarves. I am proud of you. Oh, yes. Let me create an animal stockpile over here for all my caged animals. F fours, check on progress here. Oh wow, they've managed to complete a lot of that actually. Um build capital M Water Wheel perfectly aimed for me. Nice, 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 nice. Alright. So that is going to be tossed in there, and it won't take me very long at all, I hope, to get all that done. So I hope, so I hope, cough. We'll see what happens. Yeah, that was put in place. So let me go over here, build trap lever. 
I should have quite a bit. I don't know. I don't have three mechanisms left right now. An artifact Damn bug. Oh wow! What do you make? A slag lightweight greaves. Really? All that time, and you made slag lightweight greaves. All right, let's take a look at them. They're worth eighty-eight thousand, and they're only made of slag, so that's got to say something here. Oh wow! Look at that list. I love having really long lists like this. Uh, this is a slag lightweight greave. All craft store ships of the highest quality. It is decorated with tough leather and wood. It is adorned with hanging rings of slag and menaces with spikes of leather and cat's eye. On the item is image of uh, the dwarves in green jade. Dwarves are laboring. It relates to the foundation of the tunnel sect by the fiendish temptations of the spear of summoning in the early spring of 337. On the item is image of a devil, a uh, thorn in cat's eye. On the item is an image of Kel chest, chest fences, the dwarf, and toad mag, was it, malefic, uh, malign, uh, malignaflicated, something like that. The goblin in cotton fiber, uh, toad is striking down the gob, or er, striking down Kel, Artwork relates to the killing of the dwarf Kel by the goblin Toad in the terrifying spiky in the imprisoned hills in the early autumn of 162. On the item's image of a glass splitter in cotton fiber. Damn, not bad. And now, who is it? What is his name? Risen Armorer. So this guy, let me look him up in my uh, therapist here. So he was level 7 armorer. He is now a level 14 armorer. Grand Master Armorer right now. So he didn't quite get legendary, but he got pretty damn close. So he is probably going to be in charge of making all my armor from now on. Let me see if anyone else has uh, level 13 armor. Supposed to be a toss off between them. There we go. So yeah, this guy is going to be mostly in charge of making a lot of the armor. So if anybody wants this guy named after them, feel free to toss that in the comments section and I will make sure it's done. Uh, anyway, I think I'm pretty much done for now. There's still quite a few things that are left to be done, but most of them involve us just not just sitting around and not doing a lot, of st a lot right now because we have to wait for all the dwarves to uh, finish their current jobs, to get over there to do those jobs. Uh, I have a bit left to do when it comes to finishing the outer wall here. Let's make sure that this isn't suspended, which it probably is. Yep, figured it was all suspended. Alright. Let's also start extending the wall. Oh, forget about that elven corpse beside the wall. Just bury it inside the wall. We shall mimic the Chinese in a gigantic wall. Or something along those lines. I got nothing. I had something for a minute there, but then it, then it eluded me. There we go. Ah, that's a great wall. For when you run out of mortar and... Whatever the hell they use to build it, use human bodies! Because it works, apparently! Okay, I will have a guard at the end of this. As a matter of fact, I am going to make... Just in case I can't build there... I'm going to make little guard posts at the end here. There we go. Sweet. Sweet. Alright. So this is just going to be made of bridges. Two bridges, to be precise. That will destroy anything in this. Alright, so anyway. Alright. I will leave it at that more than likely. Dear Lord, I am tired. And those guys are my main perimeter guards right now. My Minotaurs and my gigantic colossal elephants. Actually, no, let me let me zoom in on that a bit. Let me let me see if I can 
properties. Let me stretch this punk down here a bit. Uh, why won't you let me stretch? No. There we go. All right. Edit that. Let's drag the sucker. Whoop. So you can kind of see there. Yeah, they do kind of look like colossal elephants, don't they? Little red-eyed elephants of evil and all that. And of course, we do have the. I don't. Those are actually minotaurs right beside them, but they kind of look like lizards, don't they? Anyway, that's just some random thing I decided to toss out there. But anyway, I digress. Um. So yeah, that's pretty much it for now. We've gotten everything I wanted to get accomplished. Accomplished for now. Uh, we haven't actually, you know, kicked anything into full gear yet. Oh, actually, I should probably before I forget, because I will forget. Build capital G. Let's get my floor grates in place here. At least some of them, so I'll know that I need to get these floor grates in place. Also, what is the well? It's capital L. Get the four wells in place. There we go. So yeah, I'm just waiting on the last two grates, and then I'll be able to finish this bit up. Everything else is generally hooked up. I still need to get this trap here set up. Let me actually put a note on that. That's the... The power plant water. Okay. So yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If anyone has any questions about uh, Dwarf Fortress, uh, Masterwork Dwarf Fortress, or anything in general, uh, feel free to either comment it or PM it to me. I will get back to you as soon as I can. Sometimes I may derp and miss it. Uh, especially you. Oh my god. I actually just realized that I had a message from like months ago on my Twitter that I have never, that I never looked at because I never look at my Twitter mail. But yeah. So don't necessarily mention, like, you know, message me on Twitter because I may not see that. But yeah. If you respond, if you either respond, comment, or PM me on YouTube, I will try and re I'll try and answer you. Uh, but yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. Hopefully you've all enjoyed. Hopefully this informed some people in a way in that sense and helped with the wonderful world of Dwarf Fortress and all its fun times and all the other good stuff. But yeah, thank you for joining me for episode 12. Have yourselves a good one, everybody, and I will see you all next week uh, for some more Masterwork Dwarf Fortress. Thank you very much for watching, guys. See you all next week.